In this video I'm going to demonstrate how you can accept payments online from your customers um, when they can pay by credit card uh, even if you don't have an online store. Uh, you're going to need an account with a uh, credit card payment gateway such as Stripe who I'm going to be using in this demonstration uh, but you don't need to have your actual own dedicated e-commerce or online store to do this. Uh, so I'm going to use our FM account and link solution for Zero for this demonstration. So let's uh, jump into that. So if I go to my uh, invoices screen got a couple of invoices here so here's a, uh, a draft one I'm just going to mark this as authorized and I've uh, got four line items it's $220 of specified all the account codes and text types and so on so uh, I've got everything I need here to upload this to zero so I'm just going to click the push to zero button and that's going to upload that invoice to zero and that was successful and that's come back with my zero invoice ID now at this point I could um, I could click email this invoice and that would send an email through the uh, Zero system uh, to the client with uh, a link to pay online uh, but I might also want to um, send that email from FileMaker or, and customize it a bit further and add some additional content so what I need to do is get the online invoice URL so that doesn't get returned uh, straight away so I need to come and click this get uh, invoice URL button and you can see that's returned the uh, URL for this invoice online so let's go and open that up and have a look and see what it looks like so you can see here uh, I've got my invoice it's just using my demo company but there's my invoice for $220 and it's got a, a pay now button so uh, my customers can just click the pay now button and in this case it's connected to PayPal and they can uh, proceed with the payment and uh, pay that invoice online and Zero will then mark that as uh, paid uh, back in Zero and record the payment so that's one way to um, get an online invoice uh, paid by credit card. Uh, another option is to use a uh, payment gateway like Stripe. So let's switch to my uh, slightly different uh, layout but the same invoice which I'm going to use for Stripe. So the same line items, I'll just put in the currency and the tax codes. Uh, I don't have my uh, Stripe invoice ID or my Stripe contact ID so I need to go and uh, create those and I'm just going to uh, upload this invoice. and. That's doing a few things uh, at once. That's uh, creating or updating the customer, uh, creating the line items, creating the invoice, and finalizing it. And uh, in this case, I've got to set to um, send a uh, email to the customer. So I'll get an email straight away with the link to pay online. Uh, but we could like the zero uh, demonstration. Uh, in this case, we get the um, Stripe invoice URL back. So I can click that and uh, have a look at that and I could also email that out from FileMaker straight to the customer. So once again uh, invoice option to pay online and depending on uh, how things are set up you could be paying by uh, credit card or Apple Pay or Google Pay and so on. Um, but that's uh, just another way you can accept online payments from your customers uh, for invoices uh, with credit card payments uh, when you don't have a uh, online store of your own and uh, research has shown that um, you can get paid up to twice as fast if you give uh, customers the option to pay online. So definitely worth uh, considering. Thank you.